Well howdy folks, this is a blast from the past. I'm outside with my Canon T3i modified camera and I'm using my Ioptron Skyguider Pro and I'm using Astrophotography Tool. The new version of the latest versions of Astrophotography Tool he, Ivo did something and uh, whatever makes the uh, live view with the Canons much better than it ever was years ago. The last time I used my Canon in live view with astrophotography tool it never gave me an image like this. Having it work with live view really well uh, makes it real easy for focusing and framing. So, so without any further ado you can probably guess what I'm imaging here. This is the Orion constellation and I've already got some HA on it and I've already got some um, RGB on it, which I'm, which I'm doing right now, but I want to get some more. So, anyways, this is Beetlejuice, Bellatrix, this is Raggle, and this, of course, is the uh, belt, and then this is the nebula itself, and again, I've got it on live view. Alright, and this is pretty much how I had it the other night. And now I'm going to zoom in to see how well I'm focused. And it's already pretty well focused. I'm using my Nifty 50. Uh, oh, oh, wow! There was a jet just going by. Cool. It was a Nifty. I'm using my Nifty 50, the 50 millimeter lens. And it looks like pretty good. Pretty focused in to me. I really hadn't changed it since last night, and I was really focused really well on la last night. I'll zoom it back out. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. You can see the stars twinkling. And, oh, by the way, I should also mention I'm using the Bader uh, Moon and Sky Glow filter on my, uh, over my lens. I've got a, the, it's a two inch filter or 48 millimeters and the nifty 50 is 49 millimeters so I had to use a step down adapter for it. All right I think I'm ready to do some imaging here. I'm I will go to camera turn it off live view and go to imaging plan and let's see if I have it here already. Well, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Now this must be it from before. Let me edit it. I'll call it um, Orion. And quality raw and JPEG. I'll do an hour's worth of data. Probably won't get that much because it'll be behind some trees in a little while. I'm going to do ISO 800 and 60 shots update current press ok and away i go and can't connect exposure start yeah because it's not dithering because i'm i'm not uh guiding on this uh program uh, with with my um sky Guider pro anyways let me pause it start it Okay, well, here's where it came out to be. It looks really, really good. And the nebula looks in, and the Beetlejuice the stars look really nice and sharp. Here's the horse head over here. So, anyways, I'm pretty happy. And this is oh, one more thing. Yeah, I'm I'm actually out doing some imaging with my main scope too. So I'm doing two scopes at once right now. Kind of exciting. And it's very cold out right now. It's in the teens uh, in Fahrenheit. So I think it's like 15 Fahrenheit right now. So. Cold but clear. Anyways, I think that's all and we'll see you later.